So one of the most important things that you should do is targeted revision. And also in the last one week, you don't have much time to solve all possible questions. So just focus on the PYQs because they are extremely important. Otherwise, in the exam hall while entering, you may face some problems. Strategies of attempting the paper. For example, when I attempted the paper, I used to do... Hello guys, I am Avik Das. I got AIR 69 in JE Advanced 2024. So, just over a week is left for your final battle, the JE Advanced 2025 exam. So, I would like to discuss with you guys about the last one week strategy that you should ideally follow before the exam. So, one of the most important things that you should do is targeted revision. Because you just have over a week left for the exam, this, the, this time frame is not enough to do the revision of the whole syllabus. So, you should just focus on some high weighted chapters like the chapters of mechanics, thermodynamics, coordinate geometry, uh, organic chemistry, modern physics, etc. And some things which need a, a bit of memorization, for example, inorganic chemistry should also be revised properly because you can't afford forgetting a vital piece of information during the exam. And one important thing is practicing PYQs. The more previous year questions you solve, the more idea you get about the actual exam. So, and also in the last one week, you don't have much time to solve all possible questions. So just focus on the PYQs because they are extremely important. So moving on, one important thing that you have to do is going over the past mistakes. If you don't analyze your mistakes, then there is no point of giving mock tests. So uh, in the last one week, just skim through the mistakes you have done. For that, you should have ideally prepared a mistake copy where you, have, where, where you should have noted down what mistakes you had done previously. So, reflect on the errors and identify the root cause of them. Often it is seen that students make mistakes due to, for example, a calculation mistake or not reading the question properly. In fact, during my preparation, I also sometimes made these mistakes. But I always took care never to repeat those mistakes in the future. So you should always try to maintain that I should never repeat this mistake in the future. You have done a mistake, it's fine, but never repeat that. And while giving an exam, read each and every word of the question properly. Because uh, often we don't read the question properly and we just do something of our own and the question is not according to that. So th though that falls under the category of silly mistake. Another thing that students often do is calculation mistake, silly calculation errors. So try to avoid them as much as possible. So analyze the last few mock tests because these mock tests are your full syllabus mock tests and they give you a simulation of the final day experience. So if you analyze them properly and analyze the errors that you have done in the exam, you will get an actual idea of what your strengths and weaknesses are before the exam. So if you are able to identify your mistakes, work on them, then you will easily ace the ex final exam. The day before the exam is also very important because there is a famous proverb in, in, in English saying that the morning shows the day. So likewise, the final day before the exam also often lays the foundation for the day, uh, for the actual exam. So on the final day, you shouldn't put any amount of stress on you. Stay positive, stay calm, stay confident. Just do some light revision. Skim through your notes and key formulas, whatever you have made. Don't try to make any new notes. Just revise, just lightly revise through whatever you have made earlier. You shouldn't give any mock test or put any stress on you. And a thing that many students often miss is organizing the exam materials. For example, your ID cards, your admit cards, etc. These should be arranged properly. Otherwise, in the exam hall while entering, you may face some problems. And go to the bed early. Resting properly is very important before the day uh, of the exam. If you have proper amount of rest, then you will be able to just uh, ace the exam. But if you don't sleep well, you will feel sleepy during the exam. And JE Advanced is a two paper exam. Six are long. So you can't afford feeling sleepy during that time. So you should go to the bed early. Put no stress on yourself. Stay calm, stay positive and keep
keep belief on yourself so what i was saying stay calm and positive if you at any moment of time if you feel pressure if you feel tension just close your eyes take a deep breath leave it and open your eyes again you will find that you have calmed down a lot so no never overthink because overthinking may only exaggerate the problems tell yourself that i can do it stay confident always do positive self talk focus on the present because focusing too much on the past or future wouldn't do any help you should uh, learn from your mistakes of the past but you shouldn't always think that oh i did this mistake in the past i shall do them again keep believe on yourself stay confident then you will be able to learn from the mistakes of the past and rectify them and focus on the present what i have said pace yourself up because you can't just get stuck in a question and forever be stuck on that so keep progressing the, through the question paper if you are stuck on the problem leave it aside move on to the next one always believe that you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem and smarter than you think always keep belief in yourself because if you have enough self belief then half your job is already done the rest half will be done by your knowledge and preparation about je advanced because people are very excited before the je uh, je advanced exam which i think is justifiable so many people have many questions in mind for example these are some pre frequently asked questions on social media how to how i attempt paper to maximize my marks uh, that's a good question because many people have different strategies of attempting the paper for example when i attempted the paper i used to do chemistry at first then move to physics then at last maths i used to save a large amount of time for maths because in je advanced maths uh, in je advanced the maths is usually a bit on the lengthier side so it depends on the paper but while attempting the paper you should always stick, stick to the strategy that you have regularly followed in the mock test don't try anything new on the exam day because it may just make the things worse and uh, while attempting the paper if you are stuck on a problem move on to the next one but before that also think about the problem you are stuck on for about 5 minutes read each and every line properly if you don't get any idea move on to the next one don't waste time on it and while attempting the paper stay confident tell yourself that okay i am giving the exam in my home comfort i can do it don't think that oh i am giving the toughest exam of india no then it it will only increase your pressure think as if you are relax calm chill attempt the exam in that manner so how to maintain discipline and consistency while studying that's also a great question so in uh, present day the there is a very big distraction called smartphone so while studying always maintain distance from your digital devices and if possible uh, during your je preparation keep distance from social media if you are studying online you should just only open the study app that you are that you are following don't open any other app during the lecture during the online lecture or online mock test shut down all your notifications so that you don't get distracted and turn on the do not disturb mode and maintain your screen time keep in mind that your screen time shouldn't go beyond a particular point because if you are using the mobile too much it means that you are now not using it for study purposes so use your devices only for your online education not for anything else because that would only distract you how to tackle one question in different ways well for that you need to study as much as possible the more you study the more knowledge you gather and in that manner you will be able to solve different questions in different manners because the more you study the more knowledge you have about a particular topic then uh you will gather knowledge about different ways to solve a particular problem and when you are able to solve a problem look at the solution of it because it may happen that you learn something new in the solution so the more you learn the more uh, weapons you have in your arsenal so then you have more ways of solving the problem so yeah uh the the way to tackle one question in different ways is study as much as possible gather as much knowledge as possible because this skill develops gradually the more you read the more you learn so yeah your exams are near 
just over a week is left and I sincerely hope that all of you will do your best in the exam. All the best.